let's make an adjustment to the cup of the Shelly bra. We hear a lot that the um, bra cup can be too pointy once it's done and fitted and you got the right fit, but mm, that, that point just really points out a little too much for me. A little too Madonna-ish, what, 1988 <laughs> maybe? So let's take a look at how we're going to make the adjustment. Here's the upper cup, the middle cup, and the middle lower cup, and the inner lower cup. Basically, what we're going to do is flatten out the curve. You can see right here where that curve is. And because you have a seam on the lower parts of the cup, you can, you can tell, like if you looked at it right here, here's the curve. So this curve plus this curve equals point. Okay, so the idea is take a look at where the notches are. If the notch is here, this is the apex point. Typically a notch will be at the apex point and a seam. In this case, the lower cups have a seam that's going to line up with the apex, apex point here. So let's just do it like this. I'm going to get my seam gauge. I always forget something when you're taping. <laughs> okay. Let's say we're going to take in about a quarter inch. And believe it or not, we always share that um, a little goes a long way. So we, we'll take out a quarter inch of this cup. Here's our handy dandy here. Okay. I'm going to go right at the apex and mark quarter. Okay, so I want to take out this much. I am not going to disturb the wire lines over here where the power bar goes or down here. So we're going to just mark this. We're going to take in at this point, but we're going to mark from here to there and from here to there. So just get your curve. You're not disturbing this line. And make it as natural of a curve as possible. Let me see. Just following your your original line here from that point and then we'll do the same thing to the other side to this known point. There you go. Okay. So here's the line. Now the cups already have seam allowance in them. So all you did was kind of shifted everything in a quarter inch. So if you're going to take away here, you also have to take away on the lower cups. Now the lower cups, they fit together like this and they get attached to the upper cup like that. So we're going to take away. This is the apex point on both cups here, here at A, all three of these A's match. So let's go down a quarter inch here and a quarter inch here. Okay, so we're going to come down and, and flatten this curve this way. All right, so let's be kind of natural on this curve here and go to the point P, just like you did above. And then here, same thing. Okay, let me do my curve the other way. Again, just try to do as natural a curve as possible, just like the curve that you're cutting back. Okay. And there are your new lines that you're going to cut. Just true up the pattern here, here, cut off these red lines, and you will see a big difference in the apex point of your cup. <clears throat> and if you don't, that lets you know that you want a little more, okay? Um, I really want to encourage you to just take a little at a time. If you're really not sure, do an eighth instead of a quarter. 
and if a quarter is not enough, say you do a quarter and it's not enough, do an eighth. Don't do another quarter because that's a whole half an inch that you'll be taking away. In bra making, because our seam allowances are quarters and there's such tiny pieces and spaces, a little goes a long way. So good luck with this um, adjustment, flattening the curve of the uh, three-part cup.